Okay, so I sorry about the lateness of this. I didn't think I was going to do one. So I'm just I'm going to do the ones that I didn't do in class. So here we have a graph or a table, and our information says that Bobby fixes and charges twenty five dollars per hour. So that's um, and we have some information we could we can, which can uh, we can help we can use. So zero hours. Well, let's say two dollars. Well, actually two hours. Every hour is 25, so in two hours it means that he it will cost 50 bucks, right? So if he charged seven, someone $75, well, divide by 25, that means they worked on the car for three hours. If he charged 125, that'd be five hours. Um, going backwards, if he worked on your car for eight hours and you multiply that by 25, that's going to be $200. And obviously, zero dollars, you get to pay nothing. So. Let's create our table. Um, so the time, remember right, time time here is ours. Time is always your independence. So we'll always go on the x-axis. And your y here will be our dollars. And I'm just going to put the money sign here. Um, so let's start graphing. Zero, zero. Oh, we got to find our scale. So in hours, that's pretty enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're going to do zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We didn't have to put all those values, but I had room. So up and down. Uh, let's see. This is going. We need the number 75. We need number 125. We can't go by 100. So uh, that would be a little bit too hard. Let's go by 25s. I think we have enough room. So 25, 50, 75, 100. We have plenty of room. 125, 150, 175, 200, 225. 250. We didn't even know need to go up there, so that's fine. So zero hours, zero dollars. So that's our first point. Two hours, fifty bucks. Although you don't have the number one, can we put the number one here? What if you worked for one hour in your car? So that would be what twenty-five. So you can fill in what you uh, what you don't have, right? So three hours. What else do we have? Three hours, seventy-five. Five hours, one twenty-five, uh, and eight hours, two hundred. So there is all those points that are on my table. You can, you could have added the other points, and you notice that this will create a nice straight line that goes through the origin. Uh, let's find out what our k is, a constant proportionality. K equals y over x. So pick any of these points, any of these points, and divide the y value by the x value. Well, let's just pick, I don't know, let's pick this value right here. And we get 200 divided by 8, and k equals 25. So our constant proportionality is 25. Notice that's times 25, times 25, times 25. So we're going to name our equation, and our equation is y equals 25x. Okay, so we already answered number A, letter A. What is the significance of the number found in part A? Uh, what is the cost for, the, for Bubba to spend one hour? Well, the number in one hour is $25, right? And this is called our unit rate. So once you know that, everything else becomes super easy. What's write an equation? And we just did, y equals 25x, right? Once you find uh, your constant proportionality, it's very easy to find uh, uh, our, uh, our equation. Seven, uh, let's see. Okay, are the cost and time proportional? Yes, it is, it goes through zero, zero. Um, that's the number two or seven. So here is a sunset splash and spot charges an entrance fee of five dollars and then two dollars per hour. So just to get in, you have to pay five dollars. So even though you haven't spent any time, just to get in zero hours, you end up paying five bucks just to get it. We haven't spent a single minute inside, but uh, there's an entrance fee. Now, if you spend one hour at the spa, you're gonna pay. Well, the $2 per hour, right? One hour, you have to pay $2 plus the $5 that you paid for before. So that means that if you stay there for one hour, your total would have been seven hours, $7. Let's assume you spent two hours at the spa. Well, two times two would be four, right? Because every hour is $2. So two times two would be four plus the five that you paid earlier to just to get in. That means you would have paid nine bucks. Again, assume you stayed at the spot for three hours. Well, that'd be three times two, which is six. And then plus the five dollars that you paid in the beginning to get in, that'd give you 11. So you nice see a little pattern here every hour, right? Well, we're going 
by 2, so this would be 13, and this would be 15. Is this a proportional table? Well, look this way for a second. Is one, one, how, do, how does 1 become 7 times 7, right? Is the relationship the same? Is 2 times 7, 9? Is 3 times 7, 11? Is 4 times 7, 13? Is 5 times 7? So we don't have the same relationship happening, right? So <laughs> this is not going to be a proportional um, a proportional table. Okay, and we are going to graph this, and you will see that visually it does not, it's not going to go through the origin. So again, hours will go here. Money will go here. Uh, this is my x, and this is my y. So let's start. Well, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, well, I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and make a little line here. Uh, on top, we have to go, f we need numbers all the way to 15. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. No, that's not going to fit. We can't go by 1s. We need the odd numbers. So let's go by 1, no, well. One, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ugh. Let's make every two, three, every two. We're gonna have uh, this one's tough. Um, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So let's go by twos. I call this two, this four. It's gonna be six, and I'll and you'll see why eight. 10, 12, and 14. So I put all the even numbers. And you're going to say, well, we need the odd numbers. Well, let's see what happens here. Our first point is 0 and 5. So 0 and 5 is going to be 0 and 5 right here. That's our first point. Our second point is 1 and 7. So 1 and 7 is going to be between 6 and 8. 2 and 9. 3 and 11, and see how easy it is to find the odd numbers. And that's why I, we did this. 4 and 13. Right, 13 is between 12 and 14. And 5 is going to be 5 and 15, which is just going to be right here. We can even add this number here, 16. That's why I chose the even number. So now, when we connect the lines, dots, connect the dots, sorry. Stretch a line out, use a ruler, and there we have it. So now we want to give this line a name and we're going to find k and we're going to pick any y value and divide it by any x value sorry any coordinate point so either you pick the 0 and 5 1 and 7 pick one of these points okay um in this case let's pick uh i don't know let's pick this one right here and this one is 5 and 15 right 5 15 and we're going to divide the y value which is 15 Actually, forget everything I just said right now, because this um, line does not, it, it has an equation, but uh, it has a name. It's, the line is linear, but it's not proportional. So um, if it's not proportional, I'm not going to ask you to name it. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that alone for a second. Okay, um, let's go, are cost and time proportionally related? No, it's not. It doesn't start at zero, zero. Okay, justify your answer using the information on the table from the graph and the equation. Okay, uh, don't don't worry about the equation right now. Okay, so just worry about hey that on the table our constant proportionality is not the same. Okay, and over here it doesn't start at zero zero. Let me turn that table this way. So let me put it like this: five and zero, seven and one, nine and two. I don't think that's 9, 11 and 3. So if these were all fractions, notice that they're not the same, right? They're not equivalent fractions. 7 over 1 is not the same as 9 over 2, which is not the same as 11 over 3, etc. So uh, we don't have the same constant proportionality. Okay. Oops. Sorry about that before. Um, I think not this page, not this page. So I think this is your last page. Okay, so you had this one to do. Um, here we're talking about the bananas, blah, 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 but if it's proportionals, okay, let's figure it out. So here's a table. Zero pounds is zero dollars, one pound is 40 cents, two pounds 80 cents, three pounds is this, etc, etc. Is it proportional? Well, <clears throat> let's graph it, okay? I'm going to put zero over here, 
and money is going to go on this side, right, on the y-axis up and down, and this is going to be the pounds of banana. Uh, banana, we're going to go, well, that's easy, one pound, two pounds, three pounds of banana, four, five, six, seven pounds of banana, and up and down, we're going to go by, by uh, it's the money, right? So let's see what we need. We need 40 cents, 80 cents. All right, so let's go by, for every two boxes, it's going to be 40 cents, so that's 40 cents. I'm going to go two other boxes, 80 cents, two more boxes, $1.20, two more boxes, $1.60, two more boxes, $2, two more boxes, $2.40. So every two is 40 cents, so I'm jumping by 40 cents, 40 cents, 40 cents, and we can go one more just in case, 2.8, right? 40 cents, 80 cents, $1.20, $1.60, $2, two $2.40, $2.80. Let's graph this. So for one pound of bananas, it's here. Zero pounds is here, two pounds is here, three pounds is here, four, five, six, and then seven. And if you use a ruler, you should get a nice straight line because this is a nice straight line that goes through the origin. It's proportional, and we're going to give this equation a name. So y equals something x. So let's find out something here. So k is y over x. Remember, a constant proportionality. Let's pick any value here. Let's pick the one. Let's pick this one. <clears throat> so we're going to divide 0 0.40 over 1, which we didn't have to, but, and that gives, gives us 0 0.40. So the equation is y equals 0 0.40 x, right? Every pound of banana uh, equals 40 cents. And, uh, what we should also know is that once we have the unit rate, we also know that that is the same thing as a constant of proportionality. Okay. Um, two or the last one for your homework, right? So let's see if this is again a proportional relationship. Uh, is it proportional or not proportional? Well, it says that one bagel is 75 cents. Okay, that makes sense. So if two bagels should be double that. So that should be, uh, oops, guys, the problem here is that I like my Y to be on top instead of at the bottom. So just make sure that you know that the price is your Y value and the number of bagels is your X. So here, when you graph this, this we're going to call this bagels. And over here, I'm just going to call that money for my Y. So zero, here's zero. Uh, we got plenty of room here. Do we need to go to 26? Don't worry about that. Try to go as many as you can. Um, I'm going to skip. There's so many boxes. So every two is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this one you have to be really careful. It's so tiny. Eleven, twelve. 13, I'm going to stop at 13. Up and down, I'm going to do two boxes again, and I'm going to jump, well, I'm going to jump by 75 cents. So two boxes, 75 cents, another two boxes, $1.50. Two boxes after that is going to be $2.25, right? You keep adding 75 cents, 75 cents. Two boxes is going to be three. Two boxes, 3.75. Two boxes, 4.25. Two boxes, five, and... 5.75. So now my scale is equal here on the y-axis. So with one dot one bagel is gonna cost me 75 cents. So I'm gonna put my dot right here. Two bagels is gonna cost me, and careful here, one dollar fifty. Six bagels is gonna cost me four fifty, but I can put the three one. The three is gonna cost me two twenty-five. Four is gonna cost me three. Five is gonna cost me something, 375. Six is gonna cost me 425. And I don't need to put all those dots because once I, what do you call, connect all these points and stretch the line all the way out, my, my lines are gonna match up, okay? So if it's proportional, yes it is proportion, proportional, it goes through zero. My constant proportionality is the same, right? No matter which one I choose here, any of these, if I divide the y by the x, I'm going to get the same number. And the number in this case is 75 cents. Right? When you have the unit rate, you don't even have to calculate. You know that k is 0 0.75. Right? 
Now remember, k equals y over x. So if you divide 75 cents by 1 is 75 cents. $1.50 divided by 2 is 75 cents. Four fifty divided by 6 is 75 cents. So you're going to get 75 cents again and again and again, which makes our equation y equals 0 0.75x. I think that was all you have to do. All right. And that's that.